So Pundit Picks are finally back. I feel like it's been ages since we had the last one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but was it Gordon? Like a good two, three months ago now. But they're in the building and we got a Hulit Gang Rodrigo de Paul. I've been a big fan of his other card, the Europa Champions League one. I don't know if it was a road to the knockout team of the tournament. You know the one I'm on about. So I've got high hopes in this card right here. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. But of course, Hulit Gang, high, high, four star, four star. 5'11 dynamic image I like it my boy's got a grin on his face and a really well-rounded balanced box to box center mid here stamina being super high doesn't matter really because we've got relentless plus on there as well as that technical press proven bruiser long ball pass and incisive pass it's honestly a nice combination he doesn't have too many defending play styles, but let's be real, you're definitely going to utilize him as more of a, a hustler, more of a going forward, getting involved, maybe chipping in with goals and assists kind of player. But I would have liked maybe an intercept on there, so spice it up a little bit. But Relentless Plus is good, especially for this position. Now then, the stats themselves, finishing, pretty standard, pretty solid, same with the pace, nothing crazy. Dribbling stats look good. Mid 80s to kind of like low 90s, high 80s. Partnered with technical and press proven, which is a positive. Passing stats should be solid. He's going to help out defensively and he is a physical boy. And heading over to Footbin, the price actually, 244k. Honestly, not too bad. I thought maybe it'd be more. Maybe Fodder's dropped. I have not been on the game for a couple of days. I've been busy, guys. Hence why no videos. Uh, so maybe Fodder's gone down a little bit, but... Reasonable price. I'm going to compare him to the likes of like Thunderstruck, De Jong. That's one player coming to mind. Similar kind of play styles and attributes across the board. Uh, Kem style, I think I'm going to go for a no-nonsense shadow. Super juice the pace as much as I can and the defending. And let's get into the review. Feel, by the way, before we get into the gameplay, is going to be DePaul, Vieira and Sauer. We're dropping Bruno Fernandes. Honestly, we've had so many crazy midfielders over the past couple of months. I feel like a lot of our teams are stacked at this point. But I do kind of want to say... It's not always about improving your team. That's one way to look at the game now. I know, obviously, a lot of people, they like having the best meta team possible, like I do to an extent, but trying new cards and kind of mixing up a little bit isn't necessarily always a bad thing. So that's maybe what we're going to do here. Maybe this man's going to be better for me than Bruno Fernandes flashback. It's a bold statement considering the price, but let's get into gameplay and find out. Oh, okay, fair enough. Getting sweaty with it, son. Right, the ball then first. Official touch on the ball. It's been a little while. We're trying to get the ball to him. Oh, that's a lovely little touch there. The dribbling feels pretty good, you know. Salmon, little one inside. Rodrigo, the pull. Decent touch. All oh, potential to get through ball was on there. My opponent is full sending, by the way. His defense is well and truly bombing forward. Rodrigo, Travella. This is now post-patch, by the way. So they have been nerfed and... uh. That's looking noticeable. That was a green time. A couple of weeks ago, that's fly top bins. Like the left stick, it feels pretty in control. Pretty much glued to his feet. Little give and goes. Love that. One more. Beautiful. Rodrigo. Ball roll. Travella, let's go. Just like that, we're back in it. That's what a boy can do. Box to box prowess. Popping up in your box, your half. Little bit of link up play. He's got the power, the pace to get in behind. And the finish there is decent. Just as our slate and Travellers. Maybe they're not all that bad still. Let's get it back to the boy immediately. RB and A to Bobby. Maybe try and recycle out wide. Back into Rodrigo de Paul. Oh, pace. Pace is good. I've just overcooked it a little bit. I probably should have released it. Eusebio made a nice little running behind. De Paul into Salmon. Back to De Paul. The movement's good. Stride, exactly the same again. You know what, he's read it. Fair play, he's moved the keeper. I could have reacted, maybe put it in the other corner, but a little bit too late. Once again, I'm enjoying the movement. And he's tracking back and making interceptions. Come on, big man. Let's give it back to you. Big touch, RB and A to your savior. Oh, back to the Argentinian, man. That's it, beautifully timed. That's what happens, mate. You just moved your keeper a minute ago. Don't, you don't think I'm going to know you're going to do it again, lad. Lovely little finish, by the way. A little poke. A little poke in the open net there. And Rodrigo de Paul has his brace. I'm really enjoying that link-up play. He's feeling a bit dangerous, you know. Nice link-up play there. Let's strive for pace. Let's go for pace around Havertz. This might be ambitious, you know, because pace he's not really super strong in. And yeah, he gets bullied easily by Havertz. Uh, definitely don't try to do too much. Don't rely on the acceleration too much. But that's a nice little block. Recovery. See if we get it back to the boy in here. Vieira. Up to Rodrigo de Paul. Float that to Eusebio. 
That's a beautiful little team goal, that one. DePaul, Eusebio, Big Bobby, back of the net, lad. Like, left stick is really good. He's got really precise movement. Little touches, keeping it close to his feet there. Yeah, this left stick is really good. Uh, kind of sold myself there with a little ball roll. Should have just kept striding into space. Like, close little pockets like that where your opponent's pressing you. The boy can definitely move and wiggle out of those situations. And I'm enjoying the link-up play. Like, we're getting chances to score goals. I want to go for it outside the box. Travella, it had some whip. I reckon if we green that, that's fine in the back of the net. Oh, he's there. Lovely little read. Lovely little read. Ball roll now. Ah, he gets bullied by Havertz. Maybe it is like a pace thing. Like, it wasn't much of a, a physical duel there where Havertz has completely pushed him out of the way. He just felt a little bit slow to properly get accelerated. The pool, sit in a nice pocket of space, float out wide. Pass is definitely one of the strong points for sure. Yes, yeah, a doppo. The pool, float it. Salmon's movement's good. The ball is perfect. All the way now. I fluffed it. Absolutely choked it, lad. I don't know what I was doing. I wanted a Travella. I wanted just to shoot. I mean, okay, I moved the keeper, but Allison, what on earth is that, lad? Go on, the ball. Stride in here. Ball roll. Controlled sprint. You know what? The controlled sprint isn't feeling insane. With someone for te with like technical press proven and stuff like that, you may be expected to feel a little bit quicker. Uh, I definitely feel the left sticks where he truly shines in regards to the dribbling department. A little give and go, Salmon. Left stick feeling good. Let's have him overlapping. I see you, Rodrigo. Need to be sensible here. That's it. We could stride all the way around. Get it across the keeper with a green time. Hat trick secured. My man's moving his keeper all over the place. He thinks I can't see it. He was already on the other side of the pitch by the time we got round there. But nice bit of pace. Nice little burst of speed there. And the finish across the keeper. Clinical from the big man. That's a big block. Getting involved. Doing defensive duties. One great thing about Relentless Plus in your centre mids is they don't get tired. You can go box to box, end to end, all game. Link up play there is beautiful. Through ball to Salmon as well. Fantastic. Stride into the box now. Go on. Ebony, little double A. Savio was waiting, but my man makes the block. So Hulik Gang, Rodrigo de Paul. Is he worth the price tag? I'd say yeah. 220k, whatever it is, untradeable fodder put into this. He's 100% worth the price tag. You've got a really solid box-to-box -box center mid here. Now, a lot of people will ask me, I'm sure, in the comments, is he better than Sauer? Is he better than uh, Lorente? Davies, I don't know, Bruno Fernandes, Modric. Probably not. Let's not get it twisted. He's not absolutely insane on the game. If you've got cards like this and the only way you play is with one set team you don't like mixing up, which is fair enough, then I would probably stick with what you've got. But for a nice, cheap and affordable box-to-box -box center mid, Rodrigo de Paul is your guy. Like He's four-star, four-star, high, high. He's got the play style plus for a box-to-box. -box. I will say controlled sprint isn't insane. Stick to just doing left stick dribbling. Like, he keeps the ball close to his feet and he moves quite easily. Passing's nice, shooting, clinical. Like, we bagged some nice goals with the boy. And he's just a no-nonsense well-rounded card. Like, I genuinely enjoyed him. Uh, let me know your opinion down below. I've been Morsi. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you later. Hopefully, some big content coming next couple of days. Thursday, Friday. Premier League Player of the Month. Bundesliga Player of the Month. And Future Stars Team too. So, sub so you don't miss it. I'll catch you then.